so um, the last time I stopped at um, tax 5 and I haven't explained so we'll just take a look at it uh, I think we have some tax already all right so let me um, let's or oh, let me just vi tax 5 vi 5 all right so basically if you go through the task let open yeah if you go through the task where's tax five okay yeah oh oh have you not done this why is this not checking let me reload it we've done all this Okay, good. So, tax five. Uh, we have to write a function that returns the number of bits you need to flip to get from one number to another. Okay, so this is the first number and this is the second number. We can use this. So, this on um, silent int contains some bits, like some zeros and ones. Maybe now I'll be using my um, notepad to explain and on onward so it will be easier. Yeah, open. But I hope it doesn't my system is fine. So this one will contain some um, bits and this one will contain some bits. So we'll check kind of the difference right the difference between those bits and then we'll get the difference and then we'll know the number of ones the difference have. for example we have uh if our n is one oh one one zero 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 one one okay and our m is one one zero 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 one one okay so the difference or the count right will be equal to let's say we have a count so will be equal to so all this place will be zero zero and the places where we have zero zero we have one sorry no 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 yeah yes i think so so let me let me just take a look at it and then see okay. hey what did i press Okay, good. So, what we had is uh, you will need to flip to get one and one number to another. Okay, so the number of bits you need to flip to get this, I think we we'll have to have different ones, right, in order to actually do this. Okay, so what we did is I created a result and then I did um, n exclusive or m. But remember that exclusive or okay if you look at it from here you see that exclusive or has a rule that when we have zero and zero it is zero right when we have uh, zero and one it is one when we have one and zero it is one right and when we have so when we have the same it is zero we have to just have difference to be one so it is that difference that we are looking for okay so basically what i was explaining here the difference between this one would then be zero 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 because there are no difference in between both number okay but if we have n to be let me increase this thing okay if we then have n to be um n to be let's see zero one zero 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 one one okay it means we we'll have some difference between them and then we'll know how many bits we need so for this place now we'll have one 
for this place it will still be zero for this place it will still be zero 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 one and sorry zero zero so we only need one bit here right in order to flip this guy to this guy right so that is what this place is really telling us okay um let me see where are we okay so because of that we'll check the um result is saving that bit right the saving this this bit this is our result now right our result right result is already saving this exclusive of uh, n and this right so n exclusive or m is this right so result is already saving them so the next thing is we then iterate through results right we then set count to zero as far as result is greater than zero right and then um count plus plus yeah but what we then did is so if our result and one is equal to one we'll count one what that place is saying is when we have when we have this our result is what let's say is it hundred thousand one million one two, one, one two three four five six seven eight one two three that's ten million right so if our result is ten million for example or let's say our result is 1000 for example for simplicity okay okay if our result is 1000 for example in order to get the point where one is okay we'll add it with we'll add it we'll be getting it one by one we'll add it with one okay so it will be result and if you're adding result and and where's and and bitwise and one one is zero sorry zero 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 to be zero zero one right and if you look at the and um guy and guy says it is only when we have one one that it is one right so what we do is we'll say um then the answer will be equal to let me go to the next this one okay so when we have this guy right in order for us to know if this guy is um is one right so if we use and and then we do the calculation right it will then equal to one and one and zero is what zero zero and zero zero with and zero and zero 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 and one zero so we'll just get this last bit hmm? And once we see that is zero, we will not count. Okay. Then what we do next is, after we calculate this, that what this guy is doing. Okay. Result and one. If it is one, it should count. But if it is not, it will go to the next one, which means it will shift the result by one. Right. Shift it um, left by one. So once it is zero, it won't count. Right. And then okay, sorry, we are here. Then it will shift the result by one so that is it is going to um where is it result result equals to so once it is not once this place is zero for right we need to shift this guy by one so our results will now be results will now be uh instead of having one thousand right we'll delete the zero that we've done and add zero at the end right and then that loop will go again so now this place is um is zero one zero zero right so zero one zero zero so it means we'll do try again zero and zero zero one and zero 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 and zero 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 and one zero okay so uh, we'll come here again, we'll delete this place, right? We'll add zero here, right? 
So that is what this place is doing. Okay? That is what this place is doing. Okay, this result left shift, right? And then this if is the one comparing this, and then this is the result already. So since we have this, this one will get updated, and then we'll remove this, and this one comes in. Then we'll do our math again. So our count is not counting yet, right? So we'll come here, we'll then say zero and zero, zero, zero and zero, zero, one and zero, zero, zero and one, zero. Okay, then our count is still zero. So we'll come here, delete this guy, do this, right? So we'll update it here, add zero, delete zero. Okay, so we'll get our answer again zero and zero, zero, zero and zero, zero, zero and zero, zero, one and one is one. So at this point, our account gets updated with if result and one equals to one. So result and one is what? One. Okay. So one will get updated, count will get updated with value one, right? And then our result would equal to what? Um, what is it called? Yes, zero, zero. And then our result will be zero, 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 right? So that place will be truncated. This one will be deleted and then zero will be added here. And that will end our um, our loop, right? And then it's going to return our count, which is one, right? So it will return that as a number of um, difference, right? So that is basically that. Okay, I can quit it since I didn't change anything. So let us Betty five flip. Okay. No space at the start of a line at line ten. All right, let's go into it. Line ten. Um, seen it in this space here okay okay our bet is good so let us compile and check two times five times three times one times right that's the difference so two five three one and then we got that so we we'll then it's add i think a project is out by this morning and this one is Clear it and check. So the next one is write a function that checks the Indians Indians okay so this Indians is um, about let me say computer right there's a way they say binaries right for example for example where's my notepad so for example like this for, for example i think there's a um, low and big and small right so we have big indian and little 
yeah so what happened is there's um one of them i think that's big indian sorry my notes bad it is just the way they save data right so for example if we have 62 right and if 62 is let's say this is just an assumption let's say we have z one 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 zero zero one one right if this the value of let's say um, one thousand in binary right so if this is one thousand in binary or well, let's say um let's have something like this right so there are some computers that they save those value from the highest number in memory right so they will save it from here and there are some that will save it from the lowest number okay so that's just what we want to know right so let's just uh, go into it and then out. so I I is it main dot h can I remember again okay So, so um, then what else? Hundred min dot c. All right. Let me even see the main dot c. Let me see. So, int n, if n is not equal to 0, come here. Uh, so, yeah, uh, lead to n, dn. So, I think the lead to would be the one to start from 1. So, 1 would save from that lead to 1, right? And 1 would save from the um, I I S one. If I remember the order, I would I would put it on the comment section or the description. So um, we copy the we copy the copy this guy. What else? Yeah, sorry, yeah. All right. Oh. So, the next thing is, uh, we'll say, include. For this one, I think we should use um, standard input output. Or oh, let's still use our main dot h. We use that as well, though. And then uh, um, comments. We get Indians. Okay, maybe I'll just Google it. So just to refresh my as well so this one will check the system so it is your system that has this um stuff right the byte order the way it stores bytes all right if it is from the big number to the smallest or from the smallest to the biggest okay right so uh and then to avoid it should return zero if big and right and one if two two and Good. 
so we're going to have an int x so the thing with um little or i think basically um it has to be something bigger than the size before it now starts saving it this way but anyway uh, we have int x we have int for little or the big right or big engine then we have x we initialize x to be one right so what we are doing is we are giving i can give it here so our x i gave it one so i want to see how it's going to save content that one right but before that then i'll say our need to or big is equal to um so i'm going to pass in the address of address of x hmm? so address of x at index 0 what is there at index 0 and then um, I'm going to type cast from int to uh, um, to character right so int character pointer so I'm going to do this just for it to work properly okay let me put this one to in bracket Okay, so basically what we are doing is we are passing int x, right? At so what we are doing is we are saving um, an integer inside a character because now character is is much more smaller compared to integer, so it wants to um, save that data in um, a kind of array way, right? It's going to want to um save it in this big indian or small indian format that's what we are just doing here right and then we just say it should return whatever is here so it's going to return probably zero or one um based on the way it saves it but this one i'm going to find a way to break it down for people that don't need to or big Okay, so I think with that. So before that, uh, let me see if I can just Google something. Um, what's the name of that stuff? Indians. So we check for Indians. This. So while that is going on in the background, let's just save this because I don't want it to run. Let's bet it 100. 100 gets. Okay. And then let's compile. So we we'll for correction. So compile. says we have lead to India. Alright. Okay. Lead to India. Right. <clears throat> okay, that's good. Uh, to, 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 what am I looking for? Indians. 
okay in computer engineering is the order or sequence of bytes of a word of digit digital data in computer memory okay NDA is primarily expressed as big NDA or little NDA. A big NDA system stores the most significant bits of a word at the smallest memory and the least significant, like that. So, what we have is, um, let me see, why is all this thing just over? Uh, let me see images if that would help us a lot. While wow, that one is going in the background, and we've compiled, let's get out. Commit. commit. second opus but let's see uh, yes as it with this one no 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 on this or oh, is there something down the, okay there's something now. okay look at it now look at we have this guy in memory right we want to say this in right in i I is 450, which is 2 raised to the power 8, 2 raised to the power 2, 2 raised to the power 6, 2, right? So we want to save this guy in memory. Okay, so what will happen is uh, this is the representation. So for little, little save the highest value of this thing. That's this 2 raised to the power, this 2 raised to the power, this 2 raised to the power. Um, this. So it's going to save this guy in the. Uh, what's this lsb called so it's going to if this is uh, the the memory to save it right it's going to save the highest at the top and then the lowest number at the bottom for big engine it's going to save the lowest at the bottom and then the highest below right so it's still the same thing so it's just the way they save that data so if you want to manipulate we would know if it is big or little then we'll be able to manipulate right so that is, I think, the function of this guy. For us, no, right? Um, so depending on your computer, they save in little or big, right? And then, right? So that is what that guy is doing. I'm coming up to see. So have we pushed? So let's check our code. Okay, this one worked. All right. So, uh, what else? What else? What else? Yeah, Indians. Let's see. Okay. So let's look at this one as well. So we have this data to be saved, right? As you can see, little ending. We know it will save. So it saved the highest to the lowest. This one saved the lowest to the highest, right? So this is the data we want to save. This is the addresses, right? That's how we pass the address. So it's going to save that data. Look at 4, 3, 2, 1, right? 1 to 34. So big Indian save it normally from lowest to highest. Small Indian Indian from highest to lowest. That's the way they save that stuff in memory. Okay. So that's just the difference between them, right? So uh, what do we need? You know, okay. So for the next one is a crack me. So we had to crack this password. So I tried so many things, it, it didn't really work. But I think this uh, stuff that I tried, um, basically, okay. Let's just just let me just run what I tried, and then um, I haven't figured the crack. I think this crack, the one I tried, would work for the previous one. Um, so. Let's say I copy this SSH, right? And I came to my. Oh, sorry. 
now it should be here okay so ls right so if i git clone that file right i have it here so i can seed into it so we have this crack me so if i try to execute this crack me right it is being passworded right so it's using password let me see so the password i got the answer is hol i guess so if i do like this you see it gave me the content inside right so it's this password that we need right this is the password that we need for this guy to work right so if i put h-o-l-l oh it's, it's it's still working let me see let me see it why is it still working i thought let me see password. this guy is acting funny anyway uh No such file. Dash dash crack me. Yeah, crack me. Okay, that one is crack me. So what's the crack me three? So, uh, crack me three password. So it's supposed to, usage is you have, to, you have to put this guy and a password, right? And a password. Let me confirm if I'm right with the password or maybe I'm wrong. I wrote it somewhere. Uh, crack me three. Where did I open it? Where's my book? <sighs> so basically, you're supposed to. It's supposed to work with a password by this side, right? So, um, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Okay. Yeah, it is HOL. So I don't know why every password is working. So basically, um, we are in um, OX13, the one we just cloned. So what you run on it is fire first, fire crack me, and then you see the data and you see that it is not stripped, which means that this um, this file crack me three contains some um stuff that some symbols that is it contains some data that we can still uh, extract our password from. so normally i'm supposed to just run an l trace on it l trace crack me three right so let me see so l trace dot slash yes so i'm supposed to run l trace on it and then you will see that it's trying to find the password somehow right um percent s so if i run this i'm supposed to get the md5 data right of this guy and then there's an md5 converter that i have here so i'll paste this md5 converter i i actually got the md5 in a way i tried to reverse it in order for it to give me the password right but it didn't um yeah it said um cannot be right right could not be reversed into a string no reverse string was found so i don't know probably there is um a way to get the md5 that would be able to reverse okay so there's a converter that i got to reverse that so you can try that out so if i found find finally find a way which i'm, I'm sure i won't be um turning into right now because i'll be there will be other projects to attend to but if i do i would get it i've seen youtube videos um saying just copy this link and it. when i check the link it's just a link to someone's repository on github where you download the answer directly it's not you cracking the answer you get so that is what i just say about that um let me cut this there read me it is the, find the password for this program uh, yeah it's supposed to print congratulations right not ko 
Okay, you know what? Let me let me do it this way. Uh, one one password, right? So let me vi one o one dash pass word, right? And I'll paste each o l there, right? Then I'm going to use this guy. I'm not sure if this to try and execute it, right? I'm not sure if this guy should work. This one is still cool. It's still cool that he's writing. Let me remove this guy to my mom. So let me see, let me see, let me see, let me try and use the executable, the, the compiler. So if this guy is not working, then oh, we show each other will work. Yeah, it's still cool that he's writing. I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's get what we do. Sorry, let's try that actual first, and then I will see if I can work towards the cracking. Um, let's see the no. Before we see the, let me move this password I've created. So I'll move the one on one password outside. Right, and then I will see the outside and then let's so we have a one one password. So let me just get out that one alone. One one password, right? And now get commit. I'm not sure. Let's see if this one works. If it doesn't work, then we'll find a way around it. Okay, so we have some check failure. Okay, uh, let's see. Password for graphing three. It's not actually working because at least we're supposed to get congratulations, which means that HOL didn't work, right? Um, let's see. So what are we going to do? Uh, da, 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 da. Let me check. Let me check. Hold on a second. Yeah, so it is H O L. I'm seeing H O L, or probably it is H zero L. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So it's gonna be C D into O X thirteen. LS so we'll go slash crack me crack me three uh H zero no it's not zero it is O now and it's not capital with the hell it's not H zero L so what is it? It should be H O L Okay, uh, probably let me try and work on it and see if I can still find a way to um, actually crack it. Or probably I'm just going to use other people's method. And let's just, just skip this guy for now. But basically, if you run the L trace on, on the crack me 3, right, um, it's going to L trace will help you try and assess. Um, the password file inside or oh, let me just uh, edit this and password 
I don't know. Okay. I'll trace this and H O L. Let's try that. And then it's not it's not working. So M D five crack. There's a command I used anyway. I think MD5 something, MD5 puts or something. All right, so I, I will find a way and then um, I will let you. I will eat you guys up. Okay, so um, back to the crack me. So what I later did is um, I followed. So we are gonna use this code. Um, well. Basically, when I check the code, the code is just um, someone's repository called this Osala ING and then um, ALS tools master and then the crack me 3 sh is there. So it says put the output, the output and then run it and change the mode U plus X and then run this and execute, right? And that's how uh, that's that. That's the command used. And um, make sure your you moved in your this guy here, Crackman three. This is my one on one password. Let me remove it first and see. One on one password. I've removed it. So let me clear and release. It. Okay. So we don't have it again. So then let me paste that um, guy, which is this. So I might put this on the um, on the what's it called description for you as well. So we have this, and then um, you run it. So once you run it, you will have all this, and it said created one on one password successfully one on one password, right? So if you do ls, um, you see one on one password has been created, right? So if I clear it and then do ls and cut one on one password you see that it is THOL right so let us execute this guy so using the method that they used I think I yeah this is right so if I have this it's going to say congratulations so let us try that HOL right HOL okay command not found okay probably it has to be in a file for it to work right so probably all right, so that would be that on that. So let us get add one on one now and see git commit crack crack me three password right and then let's push it and let's check. Okay, so it worked. So I don't know. Probably I have to to undergo that process first to work on the file for it to work. So that will be all for now. See you in the next video.